you know, when we're at Arkman, uh, maybe I earned a call sign there. Oh, <laughs> Because I can't. Because here's the deal. It like as much yeah. as people put it all on you, it was not all on you. I, I don't. The, I don't know where the photos. Anyway, go ahead. Tell the story, and then we'll we'll talk about it. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, Arkman, yeah, it was Arkman DZ out on the uh, was it the north yeah. eastern side of uh, right Fort Benning now Fort Moore. Um, so we did a, it was a, what a weekend jump trip that we're just going to bust a lot of silk. You know, we're just, we have a, a UH1N, a uh, naval uh, helo coming in to support us. Or no, it was Marine Corps. Marine Corps, it yeah. Was a Marine, yeah, it was Marine Corps. Yep. A UH1N. Yeah, MAG-42, I think it was. I can't remember the, the helicopter squadron designation, but it was that Marine Air Group that was in Atlanta that they'd come down and support us. Yes. Yeah. And it was not the same trip where they brought the Marines that, that they put their entire stick in the trees. That was a different trip. Oh, that was different. Okay. Yeah. Cause that was, that was when that was after Stan house broke his leg. Oh, okay. Out, out West, out in, um, NTC. Right. Right. Cause he was, him and I were on, uh, quads running around trying to coordinate, getting all those, all those guys out of the trees. But yeah, we, it was like, I was going to be my fourth jump of the day. And it was like, we had families out there at the, at the DZ, Yeah, you know, people all hanging out, you know, this, that, and the other, but it was later on in the afternoon. And I noticed that, um, cause I think I'm pretty sure Adam Root was there. Um, I don't remember who else. We had a bunch of guys from the OLs that were in town. Like I know yes. OLA was there and some SF guys from Bragg were there. Uh, yes. A bunch of dudes were there. Yeah. So I think, uh, Oh, well, Chicken Hawk from uh, Campbell. I think a couple of those guys were there as well. Probably, yeah. Because um, I, I think it was Jared Hodges was also there, I think. I don't remember. But anyway, long story short, it was like the last jump of the day. And I'd, I just remember that, like, okay, it's um, the safety was Jazz Erickson. He was the uh, – because they only had a position for – you know, he had to do two roles. Right, right. He was the, he was the safety, and he was also the – I forgot uh, it was Jazz. I was I was wondering – I couldn't remember if it was me or Jazz, and I'm glad you clarified that because I – you know how that stuff goes. You're like – because yeah. you – I think we switched out a bunch that day. Like we, I think I don't think he was the safety all day because that's a hard job. Because in a UH one, the the static safety stays on the bird, and you just wear the headset yes. and you just put everybody out, and then you you do elevators. So I couldn't remember if we were rotating out or anywho. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was it was a long day. So I was sweaty, and we're all wearing our uh, our BDUs, yeah. uh, most of us anyway. And it was my it was going to be my fourth jump, but I I didn't, and I'll just I'll. I'll lead up to it i re, i just remember that um every stick leading up to the incident that i was my butt you know you gotta do a up and out and i guess i wasn't doing an up and out enough because it was like my pack the bottom of a pack and then it was if that was the first jump the second jump it was part of my ass and then the <laughs> third jump my ass hit the the skid the skid <laughs> so it was like it wasn't up and out enough so it was the fourth jump and it was the tape. And I think it was Gav that had put the, the tape on it. Cause he came up to me later on. And he's like, yeah, dude. And he's like, I'm, I'm the one that taped it up. And, um, what tape, tape what up the, uh, the thing you got hooked on. Yeah. The tab. Oh, okay. So there's, there's two tabs on either skid. You have a front and a rear tab that are on the top end. You have to put a bunch of tape on it. So you don't get ho hooked on anything. And that right. tab is for, um, a wheel that they use when they, they lift it up, they put this wheel on it and it locks in place and they can wheel it into a hanger and wheel it back out. And then they take the wheel off and it does its thing. Right. Right. So that's the tab that they put on there or the, uh, the tape they put on that tab. So you don't hit it. So that was, I guess it was part of, and you did the safety investigation on it. <laughs> yeah. Or part of it. Um, so yeah, it was that last jump. I went out and I went out and, up and over and all I could see was, you know, white. And I'm like, I looked up out of the corner of my eye and I saw somebody come down, you know, next to me. And I'm pretty sure that was Adam root. I'm not sure who it was. All I remembered, he was like looking up, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm counting, you know, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. I'm seeing all these other guys going down and descending and I see canopies. I'm looking up and I'm seeing canopies. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And I look down at my feet and I'm like, there's a the bottom of the bird. There's a lot of, uh, looks like oil and stuff leaking out the bottom of the bird. And I'm still on this mother. 
<laughs> I look up and I'm like, holy shit, I'm still attached. How am I attached? And I'm holding on to my reserve like, oh, my God, this could, this could, this could be bad quick. Yeah. You know? It was a very dangerous situation because yeah. had you deployed that reserve, I mean, that thing could have gone in the rotor blades. I mean, who knows what it could have happened, yep. you know? Yeah. Um, but Jazz is looking out and he's like, you know, <laughs> tapping on me. It was like after like about two or three minutes because I think that y'all said that, oh, we got five jumpers. And it's like, wait a minute, we should have six. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's what's going on? Where's where's the other one? And it's like, did he fall? Did his shoot not open? What's going on? <laughs> and he's like, Yeah, we're gonna cut you free. And I'm like, No, no, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> I don't even know where so we would they, have cut because you were hung up by your saddle. So if yeah. we would cut, I mean, it was. I don't even know if you could have gotten down there to cut your saddle. I don't know, man. I mean, and you were so far away. I think you were far enough where they couldn't kick you off. And I mean, it was just, it was a really bad situation. Yeah, it was, it was 14 minutes of hanging completely upside down like an opossum. And uh, Were they able to get like any kind of strap to hook you up to? Like a safety I, strap? I don't think so. I don't even think they could do that. Nah, no, I think you were too far it. away. Yeah, so it was it was it came down to a low hover. Uh, and that's and I think it was was it you, but I know it was Schleich. Two or three guys came out and they lifted me yeah. my upper torso upright so they could get the tension off <laughs> right. of the leg strap. And then release, release me. And as soon as my feet hit the ground, I was like, that counts. <laughs> They're like, no, it doesn't count. I'm like, that counts. <laughs> I jumped out. You jumped out. That's right. And it's the, the the most dangerous part, what we were worried about was, yes, at altitude, you're good if you fall off. But as you're descending, you know, you're getting lower and lower. And once you pass a certain point, if you fall off that, that you know, whatever you're hung up on, that the chute's not going to deploy. So you're going to free fall down you know two or three hundred feet so that was we were all kind of worried like just kind of like hoping you didn't fall off when you're descended past like four four hundred or something i don't know what i don't know what we were jumping was it dash ones or was it like a t10 or i don't know what kind of shoots we were jumping that day i like were they did, were you able to steer them or was it just yeah okay so yeah so i mean you got to have a, a i don't know exactly the altitude but it's at least a thousand feet or 800 or something to at least get any lift out of that that shoot maybe maybe higher so yeah so that was that was crazy so it went from like kind of being funny that you didn't get out to like oh man let's let's get him down it was kind of you know we were a little worried about it and then once we got to, you know, got you down it was fine but <laughs> that was crazy yeah and then it was like somebody had vi somebody has video of it i don't know who had a video camera I but i remember there i know somebody hopefully somebody camera. seeing this will like post it or share it or something because i know yeah. we have pictures we had video but i have not seen any of it since for i mean i know it was on the server at the 17th i know i put it on a folder somewhere but i could i can't find it yeah because you you sent up the the safety report and yeah, right and then it was years later i was i was flying in the u28s and pete muley reached out to me and he was like yeah hey, i just went through jump master training blah 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 and you're the safety brief <laughs> that's I'm like, awesome oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm famous for something. You know, right. like, why, not, why not be a safety brief? Yeah. You're, the reason, you're the reason why we have to do this shit. You know, <laughs> awesome. You know, like we talk about it, and now we have we have photos and video of it. And here it is. What was uh? Did it was it painful at all hanging there, or was it? Were you just kind of like? Oh, what, yeah, it was a it was a little bit of pain, uh, um, because the saddle, the uh, the, sh the leg strap, it was on my. Uh, left leg when it hit the tab that the, the bottom saddle portion got on the tabs and when i rotated over it just like it was like a tourniquet yeah it was like it was like one of those cat tourniquets sure times 10 because oh, it was man. like all my weight and so i had lost blood flow to my leg completely i remember like when i got when i laid on the ground it was like schleich or you i don't remember who but somebody was like hold me up while I was walking around because my leg was like dead asleep. Oh, man. But I also had like a really bad headache because I was upside down. <laughs> right. For 14 minutes. Or maybe it was seven minutes. I don't remember. It felt like forever. Yeah. Because my, you know, everything was completely 180 degrees out, you know, with visual reference. Sure, okay. sure. <laughs> the horizon was upside down. Man. So. But it was, it was great. Hey.